All right, so this is the tale of the two trees. I go by Kevin or Philosophical, and this is an interactive story that we are going to create right here. So all of you know just as much about this as I do, pretty much. Um, but these are the two trees, and we are standing in this backyard observing these two trees. And we're noticing that the tree on the left, is, isn't it looking pretty crappy? It's starting to die. It's starting to die. Exactly. So the tree on the left is starting to die, but the tree on the right is looking vibrantly beautiful, and it has these nice flowers. It's got these strong roots, whereas this one is kind of just dwindling, and we're, we're wondering what's going on. So... As we all sit here in the backyard, you know, we're in our lawn chairs, hanging out, eating delicious food, cooked by wonderful people at the Live to Love house. Thank you. Thank you to the Live to Love family for all the background art we have here. Um, and so basically what, what these branches on the first dying tree represent are the biggest problems in the world. So what, what is the first, and, and, and so these, these branches have these dying flowers on them. So what, what is the biggest problem facing humanity right now? Just shout it out. Poverty. Poverty. Humanity so can you please is write? the biggest problem facing humanity. Humanity <laughs> is the biggest problem. Okay, so one of the branches is poverty. One of the branches is humanity. And we can have invisible branches. There's just kind of four. Do you mean human nature? Human nature or the population itself? I Just mean, for clarification. The that and the conflict of interest okay, that so humanity he, is generating. So she, we're, we're all standing in this backyard staring at this tree, and we're each noticing these different branches. So you're noticing the poverty branch. Conflict she, would be one. Conflict? She called it community, but she means conflict, I think. Mm. Okay. Lack of clean water. Lack of clean water. Pollution. Pollution. Um. You turn the button. Um, Where's the button? Right. You know, um class wars. Yeah, there you okay, go. so class wars. So we have these different branches. Some people are saying butterflies are in there. But but really, what is the biggest problem facing humanity? Like if we don't solve this one, then none of the other ones will even matter. Our environment separation. Environment separation. You can write them different colors if you want, or different fonts. Apathy. Apathy. That is a good one. So maybe, maybe, maybe if we cared a little bit more, we would, we would stop things like poverty. But people are just too apathetic. You know. Yeah. You know. Poverty is a big business, just like water. It will. Duality. Greed, then? And ignorance? Duality, greed, all right. So these are the biggest problems facing humanity, according to us, sitting in the backyard. What are the biggest problems facing humanity, according to Fox News or NBC? George Soros. <laughs> Illusions and ignorance. That's true. Illusions and ignorance. So if I turned on the, t if I turned on the TV tonight, they would be like... Breaking news, illusions and ignorance. Oil, war, terrorists. Terrorists. Occupy is the biggest problem facing humanity. Maybe it is. Sure, yeah, if you could write those down. Caroline, do you think you could zoom in on all these d dying branches, perhaps? Global warming. Malnutrition. So, so malnutrition, let's add that as the last one. So these are the biggest problems facing the human species. we got terrorism, no clean water, poverty, conflict, humanity, pollution, duality, global warming, war, ignorance, greed, occupy, environment, apathy, malnutrition. That sounds like a good smorgasbord. What did you say? Miscommunication. Uh, miscommunication should definitely be on here. Okay, miscommunication. So these are all these different branches. And here we all here we all are in the backyard, you know, sitting in our hammocks, like looking at all these problems, but it seems like so many people are focused on different ones and they're all staring with tunnel vision at their one issue, saying, Look, if we don't solve global warming, 
who cares about poverty? You know, we're all going to be in poverty. And other people are saying, you know, if we don't if we don't stop terrorism, then they're just going to do new, they're just going to blow up a nuclear weapon. You know, so it's like we each seem to have these different focuses on these different flowers. You know, some people are saying that flower is dying, and some people are saying, no, look at that one. And we're just kind of clashing. So perhaps if we if we take Thoreau's advice, one strike at the root takes care of a thousand strikes at the branches. So what do you guys think the roots of these problems are? Miscommunication. Fear. Probably lack of knowledge. Fear. Is that the truth? Slow down. Sarah can't write that. <laughs> So what did she say? Yeah. So these are the... the oh, I heard that part. What, what the answer? Fear, lack of communication. The fib of no cheese spiral. Lack of education. Lack of education. What did you say? Someone's having a hard time hearing. Spiral. Oh, Everybody, I see. Someone who needs to hear more. Okay, if you could please speak up for Johnny. If we could all speak up. Um... Well, so according to the Dalai Lama... Yes. He's in the backyard with us. You know, we're chilling with the Dalai Lama right here. <laughs> How's it going, right? buddy? Yeah, so he's here. He's everywhere I go. Uh, what he's he talking do? about the perceptions of consciousness, ignorance, and illusion. That's the root cause. All right, let's write it down there. Dalai Lama is in our tribe. He's in the tribe. And everything stems from those two root causes. Anybody else who's also in this backyard wants to think they have a perspective to add? Attachment. Attachment. All right, so maybe if we weren't so attached to things, then we wouldn't have terrorism, malnutrition, poverty, conflict, humanity, class wars. Okay, well, these these are the roots, and, and they're, the roots intermingle with the soil, so it seems to me like maybe Monsanto sponsored this soil, what do you guys think? It doesn't, it doesn't seems like they might have sprayed our soil with some nasty stuff, um, but uh, I recently went on this bike trip across America where we explored sustainability, and we along with sustainability we really explored all these different issues I mean we were trying to figure out like what what do Americans think is going on you know like what is a family in Illinois who grows corn every day what do they think is going on these days you know so we biked to all these towns and talked to all these people and basically what we think most of the roots really stem from is one word starts with a C and one word starts with a B. Does anyone want to guess what these words are? That that that's what what we believe the cultural recyclist is our name uh, is kind of the root of all these problems. Cohesion, conditioning. Conditioning. That's that's a good one. That's not what we were thinking. Cohesion. That's a pretty good one too. You might, we could write those down. Just, I mean, we're creating this this tale as we go, this tale of two trees. But we, I was thinking of, of a different word. As a root of. As a root of all of these things, a C and a B. Boy. Boy, yeah, C and B. Conditioning. Not, that's not the one we were thinking of, but that is a good one. Confusion. Confusion, that's a good one. Not, not the one we were thinking of. Control. Control, that's a good one, but not the one we were thinking of. Consciousness. Consciousness. Consciousness is a good one, but not the one we were thinking of. Give us a second letter of the C. Yeah, give us a second letter. It sounds like a negative, right? All right, so the first word starts with vulture. It rhymes with vulture. Culture. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. And the second word has 
has something to do with these. What are these? Leaves. Bioterrorism. Branches. The first flowers. Word leaves. Flowers. Yeah. What's That's something that leaves. comes before that word? Bud. Change. Seeds. Breeds. Bee leaves. A oh, bee leaves. Cultural oh, leaves. bee leaves. <laughs> well, actually, That's they're are. more like cultural illusions. Perhaps. But their beliefs all the same. Um, however, you can spell it however you want. So, so what we what we believe as as after biking across America is that a lot of these things really boil down to cultural beliefs, and our cultural beliefs are kind of the lens that we see the world through. Like when we when we grow up. We just have these glasses kind of shoved on our face and then we have them on our whole lives so we don't even notice that we have these spectacles Careful. like Careful. strapped on Careful. tight. Don't pull it like that. But if, if we really explore these cultural beliefs, which include kind of fear, ignorance, confusion, then that's really what seems to be leading to all these other things. But we're realizing, all of us here in the backyard, that this tree is dying. It's We're done for if we keep these cultural beliefs, pretty much. So, this tree, the second tree in the tale of the two trees, is over here flourishing and blowing in the wind. And the flowers are, are flowing. And what am, my friend, what is the first thing that's hanging out by the, by the second tree? You said it earlier. Butterflies are hanging out by the second tree. Is this a discussion or a lecture? Well, it's an interactive story that I'm trying to facilitate. All right, so but does your interactive story um, require any devil's advocates? Absolutely. We're all here in the backyard creating this story, and that is a beautiful <laughs> butterfly. So the devil, devil's advocate showing up. Okay. And the stream of questions that I had about the two words cultural beliefs. Yeah. And if you put that in alignment with a negative thought, you're creating a belief. Yeah. And one of the things I'm trying not to do yeah. is associate language that's actually neutral. Because cultural beliefs is not at the root of anything. Okay. Um, the illusions are. Because cultural beliefs are unity. Friendship, well, that's compassion, cultural beliefs are neutral. Exactly. It's that's what I, that's what I was try. That's what I'm hoping to communicate with the second tree is that we can choose the cultural beliefs, which will create a nourishing tree. So you could put negative and cultural so beliefs. I think the quali so qualification of the way you're associating a dying tree with cultural beliefs well, and then asking us to put on a new filter, I appreciate the simplicity. Well, that's the, that's, the, I was, this should maybe be right here in the middle because that's, the, the cultural beliefs is hoping to, is intended to be a neutral term. He just means this is the basis of where this is the root. So, so, so cultural it's also beliefs. also at the root of the new tree. Exactly. So that's a very key point. Yeah, like. So, so basically, in the new tree, we can choose empowering cultural beliefs that we, that we want to have. So, in this new tree, what is one cultural belief that you would like to have? Or a cultural value? I was just to say value, right? Uh, yeah, so just, I think value clarifies oh, yeah, it. Like tolerance, places. compassion, unity, the things that make Tolerance, us cash, compassion, and unity. Oh, these are the new roots, please. Oh, sorry. And, and honestly, in, the, in this story, a lot of these things could be kind of counted in either realm. Like, some people could say that some people could say that fear is a root cause of terrorism, but you could also say that terrorism is a root cause of fear. But anywho, in this new second tree, what are some of the values that we want to have? Well, joy. Joy. Aho. That's the top. That's a. Is that the top? Well, it it could be in between. Let's. It could be in both. You know, it's like it's part of our our. It's part of our new constitution, but it's also part of the outgrowth that we see in our neighborhoods every day. So what? Truth. Yeah. Let's see it. Just. 
put it wherever you f think it fits in well. Trust. Trust. Beautiful. Why don't you tell me where you want it as well? Let's put the, let's put these kind of values okay. down there, please. Yeah, um, I was confused. Like, <coughs> Joy probably belongs down there too, right? Let's Both now. <laughs> All right. What are some other cultural beliefs like? Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. So, what are some but of the? But that's not a belief. Think that's a belief. Well, joy isn't a belief either, really. That's what I'm trying to understand. I mean, well, the language is very important here. Absolutely, and and language I think is um, is kind of you could k see it as part of the roots um, because depending on what language we have, that's how we kind of frame so the word. So well, it's actually it's the definition in the context of how you're using it. If you have a cultural belief, can mean many things to many people, and when you say cultural beliefs, depending on what you know, if I'm from the South uh -huh. and you know, you all are damn Yankees or we're from the North and they're all right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Because what we saw like me growing up on um, watching all the southern you know, stupid southern shows like Dukes of Hazard and Exactly Beverly Hillbillies. Well, I honestly I know I did, but they're actually not your intelligent. Color, you know, exactly. Yeah. So it's like depending on what what area you grow up in and what your parents teach you, then you have this certain yeah, what you're exposed to. Like we have this certain lens that we see the world through, and then it's like we're swimming through this culture, but we don't even realize that we're surrounded by water. It's just like the the matrix or the air we breathe. Um, and so, what are some of the like alternatives? Like over here, we have this nasty Monsanto soil, which is growing this awful, decrepit tree. What are some of the, what's what's like the opposite of no education, like a new paradigm of education? What would you want for that? Like our new values. Holistic system? education. Holistic education. That's really beautiful. Creativity. Creativity, abundance. So maybe in this new tree, the reason why we have these beautiful flowers is because everyone has this belief that there is abundance out there. You know, we can grow beautiful, beautiful ancient trees. We don't have to cut them down and use them as Christmas trees and then throw them away and not compost them and just all this weird stuff. <laughs> So, what are some other values? Detachment. Detachment. I think non-attachment is more appropriate than detachment. <laughs> non-attachment, that's good. Um, sharing or giving? Sharing, giving. Gifts. Gifts, yes indeed. And so now that we have this, this fresh composting soil that we want to dig our fingernails in. We have this new these this new cultural belief soil. What what is gonna grow out of that new soil? We're sitting here in the backyard, you know, we're like, okay, we just the the construction workers just left with all the nasty Monsanto soil. And uh, now we've got this fresh garden about to grow this beautiful tree. What is this tree going to look like? What are these new manifestations going to be? So basically, what do you want to see in the world? Honesty. Honesty, all right. That's, that's an outgrowth. Of Justice. The May I suggest um, that they're not new, that they're universal and they're eternal. Just because we're young at this game of defining cultural assumptions, mm -hmm. these are age-old qualities of being that have been a part of humanity Absolutely. forever. That is a very beautiful point. I totally agree. I, I'm in no way, I'm doing my best to try to, like... Teasing you. I'm just refining the... Well, no, yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. We, you you were you're creating saying, it yeah. right here, so that's... Yeah, and that's it just what happened it is. though, just like lately, it's like it's all being taken away. And that's what he's trying to like. You know what I mean? Well, actually, it's I not been taken away, it's just been forgotten. 
or it's been neglected. It needs to be re enhanced. We're re 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 incorporating it into the soil, perhaps. How about or we're really reincorporating it into our being? Exactly. That's the soil. Is that what you mean? Yeah, which is our our it's cultural beliefs, cultural assumptions. Exactly. What were you saying? How about juicy, gooey goodness? Juicy, goosey, good, juicy, goosey, goodness. You have to. That's the best word in the ever. Yes. And and these are these are beautiful, beautiful like general things. Now I invite you to give like very practical things. Like what lots and lots of art. Lots of art. What's That's what the world would look like. Exactly. <laughs> it, you know. And what are some specifics like Free art education. you want to see? Free education. Let's do this fast. Let's get some excitement. I want to see people banging on poles and doing like street musicians all the time. I want to see people doing parkour. Free energy. Free energy. I want you to be careful not to step Carnival. On Don't if, some, if somebody gave you a million dollars to just create whatever you want right now, what would it be? Huge yeah. ass Decentralized power. A huge garden. Decentralized power. More what? More potlucks. More potlucks. Nice. Free food. Absolutely. No, no borders. No borders. So he said, um, transportation, like more walking, like more accessible. Oh wow. What else? Gardens for everybody. Fast, man. This is a million dollars. Take it or leave it. Leaders. All right. These guys are going to retrofit houses. They're going to do urban gardens. I'm going to build a bunch of cob houses with Charlie Kane and the cultural recyclers. We're going to have free concerts. We're going to have beatboxing competitions. We're going to have free yoga every day. We're going to have butterflies more than this guy could even imagine. We're going to have, we're going to have free... I don't even know. Nature. The free nature. The education system is going to be so different that every child is taught in the way yeah, they know how to learn. Taught, taught, can you taught, taught how, every child will be taught in the way they know how to learn. I don't know how to put that, but I think that's like really perfect. Personalized education. Per trees and personalized education. There you go. Fruit trees and parks. I like it. I want to see fig trees. When I was in Portland, it was like the most joyous thing ever to bike up to a tree and just pick like this giant fig and just oh, gulp it down and like it's crazy because because of our current cultural beliefs of control and delusion and stuff like people don't even eat these figs that are growing on the trees like they're rotting on the ground and they're literally like the most delicious thing you could possibly imagine but in the new paradigm, we're going to have some joy. What do you want to see in the world? If I could give you a million dollars to do whatever you want, what are you going to do with it? Take your hat off. You would take my hat off? I am wearing a toupee. What about chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Yeah. What else do you like? Maybe... Oh yeah. What's that phone going like? I think he's I think he's illustrating a good point. No no surveillance. No surveillance. Okay. Hello to everyone that, that is surveilling on us. You want cars? Is that what you want? You want a car? What kind of car do you want in the in the second tree? I just want that one down there. Okay, so he wants a an underground car. We're gonna have <laughs> underground cars in the new in the like new words. system. So to to wind this to to bring this all together, um, just, just a few things. I feel like um, to rewind back to the beginning. So we're all sitting in this backyard, staring at these two trees. The first one is just falling apart. It's black, it's brown. The flowers are falling off and crickling to the ground. And we're all realizing that these flowers represent the biggest problems facing humanity, which include terrorism, apathy, duality, greed, ignorance, occupy, war, global warming, class war, conflict, 
and so many different people are focused on these different issues just shouting at each other that this is the one issue to focus on. But through this story, we're thinking per perhaps if we focused on the roots of these problems, then we could save some time arguing about these and just focus on the roots. So then we explored some of the roots, perhaps lack of communication, fear, ignorance, confusion, attachment, lack of education, and the, the root that, that myself and my friends feel is, is a good summary of these, which kind of goes in the middle. It's ideally a neutral understanding is that these could all be summarized as cultural beliefs and were brought up with these beliefs that are kind of the basis to everything else that grows out of it. And so if we shift our cultural beliefs, then we can grow a more beautiful tree instead of this dying piece of crap. Um, so once we have this new soil, it's, it's fresh. We've maybe composted our poop and the rest of our food, and we've got chicken poop in there. Super fungi. Super fungi. We've got this new soil, and yeah. it's, it's this, these new value systems. Like We value things like, like trust and unity and cooperation and, and tolerance instead of all these other crappy beliefs that we currently have, like fear and... and but fear is not a belief. Well, it's, 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 it's a, an authentic response to conditions of life itself. And it's primarily a part of our, our neurological response to threats. So fear is a healthy indicator of, of, of a reality that is not safe. It is not a cultural belief. It is a condition. It's a symptom. And I think we need to be careful how we're naming this. Totally. Okay. I think that's a great point. Okay. And, and so maybe what what do you think would be a, a term that would kind of... Because um, you can't eradicate fear. It's yeah. not a cultural belief. Fear you cannot eradicate simply because you believe it or don't believe it. Mm -hmm. it, it it's not going to go away simply because you stop believing it. Fair enough. Okay. Well, that is that is a great point, and and I think because you can't stop believing in reality, and fear is part of a reality. It's a, it's a natural response to an unsafe world. Mm -hmm. You can choose to be controlled by it. Uh, there is a choice, but some people can, but it takes great training. So and that's where the education comes in. That's not an automatic reflex that you can push a button and say, I'm not going to choose to be fearful now. Yeah. Yeah. You have to really learn how to become fearless. Absolutely. And that takes a whole community of support in order to engage that response. We are educated to be afraid a lot of the time, though. We're, we're, we're made, conditioned. We're, yes. we're conditioned. But we're, we're, made, we're made to fear things that aren't real. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yes, but really. We, we, it part well, of the Many things that aren't real, that we, come, we come to fear. We, we fear each other in ways that aren't realistic a lot of the time. That's what Kevin's trip was about, it seems like. We, we fear that, you know, there's a, there's a rapist around the corner because and there are reasons in the 90s that? they're talking about so a huge crime wave that was coming you know so perhaps so what perhaps a say? way to into perhaps yeah and, and so you know well, well animals, ex a animals experience fear. That's right. Exactly. It's, it's, it's not, not necessarily a bad thing, fear. I, I mean, it's not a so, bad thing at all. Yeah. Uh, but so, it can, so it, can, it can be harmful, but it's not bad. You can't judge it. It's neutral. It just is. Well, I feel like a lot of things on this side just are. You can't really judge it. It's something that we have to deal with and... Just like in nature, if there's a tree dying, it's just a, as important that the tree dies so that exactly. another tree can be created. So all those things on this side are just as equally important as the things here. Yeah, so balance something because I think you could you could say that the fears are out of balance. The amount of time that people in this culture are consumed by a fear, such as 
how much time the fear takes up of consciousness without action or without and that's that's part of our ignorance and the illusion of our response and re-educating ourselves meditating through learning new skills allows one to perceive in a new way what that condition of fear really is and in that way we can address it from an authentic growth process but being in a state of fear simply because this world has conditioned our responses is something to awaken into that's a part of our conditioned ignorance so I think I think that's a great point and I think the way we can kind of bring it into this story is that in the new in the second tree we will have new tools and a new understanding. I would not say new. Okay, so we will have alternative tools to the tools that we have here which will allow us to properly integrate things like fear. And thus we will have these I was going to say they are new to some degree, to some yeah, beings, to some They're not car- new, but they're, they're, they're new to very some, to oh, some Meg, would you, Meg, Meg, out of awareness. Meg, but some people, I think you're taking up a lot of space in this conversation. I, I think certainly it, am, and okay. I certainly will. Okay. Yeah, I think I, that it's being disrespectful to other people who I don't think so. May want I think to I'm, have a I'm an epistemology. I am a student of language, and I do not want false beliefs. The language that right. Kevin is using is coming from a 21-year-old perspective. I think that's very condescending, and I think Kevin is... I don't is, think it is. I think it's clarifying. It's meant no, to be respectful and No, I clarifying. disagree. And I think Kev, it's Kevin's presentation. It's not. It's an interactive No, I, I recognize that. I recognize but that. But I think the point is, Kevin, and I appreciate your effort here, but these are not new qualities. We have been talking about these qualities. Every culture from the beginning of time has embodied these qualities and they are not new to the human condition. I just simply want to be very respectful of the ancestors that are already bringing this message into our cultural awareness. So that's where I'm coming from. To this gener- the new generation, though, I think it is. If it's not a new generation. It is a sustaining Meg, continuum. Meg, would you hold the? Would you hold space for the possibility that you may be not, missing something? No, I'm okay. not missing it. I'm clarifying it. It's a different perspective. Meg's right. She's right. But you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, everything is new. Everything is evolving. So even if it's the same belief, it's like it's integrated into an, into now which is new because it's now so it's like not. It's a every it's, it's a continuum but it's 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 not new and it's new at the same time it's, it's new both. at this time and space it's and time and it's connected it's to you are awakening to it but it's not new so it's new in that i am awakened i have not awakened but to it yet no, no, it's a false <laughs> belief to say that it's new okay and i think this is a great conversation and i think we can totally keep it going it is absolutely an integral part of this interactive story because we are creating this story and determining how it unfolds. That is the whole point of the tale of the two trees. And so basically in the new thing, we will have great discussions about these values and whether things are new or not. It is simultaneously Ho- new and old. Exactly. And Hopefully they're inclusive and tolerant beauty, discussions yes, where everyone's voices are heard and honored. That is a very good point. In the new too. the new world. That is a very good point. And 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 so some of the things that we said we will that will manifest and that are already manifesting, I think it's crucial to I believe that this dichotomy here is basically already happening and that so many of the solutions to our problems already are out there, already exist, but we just need a shift in perspective and new beliefs to to do them. And for one example is like we uh, we kind of have this belief that we're 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 above nature. Humans don't have to do the things that regular animals do. So a lot of people are like don't want to compost their poop. You know, but if we if we just kind of shift our beliefs to see, wow, composting poop really does a lot for the garden. It helps the plants. Um, we don't have to throw our waste in the sewer. Wow, that is beautiful. 
I want to see those every single day on the street. Um, but if, if we have this, this shift in perspective, then it's like these solutions become obvious. And um, But until we have this new belief system, we a lot of people are don't want to do these things but so once we kind of shift our beliefs into this new paradigm we will have things like urban gardens what are we going to have butterflies blue cars underground blue cars underground <laughs> we're going to have fruit trees on every corner we're going to have bobby's juicy goosey goodness we're going to have gardening we're going to have personalized education where every kid is able to do what they please. We're gonna have art, we're gonna have no borders, we're gonna have honesty, we're gonna have big gardens, we're gonna have free education, joy. What else are we gonna have? Let's get a few more things in. Hugs. Hugs. How about massage trains? Music all the time. Music all the time. Unless you want silence. Except when there's quiet. Unless you want silence. <laughs> Music all the time except during silence. Yes. Visions, visions, bigger <laughs> visions, bigger <laughs> dreams. Bigger visions, bigger Balance. dreams. Balance. Balance in every aspect. Balance in every aspect. Good telepathy in general. Good. Anything, yeah. anything has to do with good food. Good, good food. All right. So. That is the tale of the two trees for tonight. Every time it happens, it's different because there's different different people in the backyard. And we encourage you to be a part of this. Please leave a comment. Um, if you want to send me an email, you can do that. I'll post a link. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you all for being part of this tale of two trees. And... Uh, we can continue to add to this and evolve it as just a concept. Um, so scoobly do. let's create this second tree, let's plant some healthy soil, let's get this thing going, and let's allow this to, uh, to kind of transform however it wants to. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for providing the butterfly.